When I first started working on Internal Studio, there was nothing available that made working with different tunings and microtonal scales really easy and fun and intuitive in a typical music making workflow. I'm now going to take you through some of the features. What I've got here is the standalone build. And here uh, you don't need to load up your door or anything. You can start editing and trying out tunings and you can even load different plugins here to try them out, which you could then take into your door session when you want to write some music with it. First, I'll show you the built-in synth. We've got a scale loaded here called 7 Limit Hexony. And I've got an MPE keyboard attached. Bend the notes. Let's have a look at simple synth here. So this is a simple synth, some very basic control, and delay. Then we can bend notes. Now if I switch to MIDI input mode from MPE and we set the pitch bend range to 1, default to 2, now I can play a chord And the pitches interpolate, the pitch, the pitch bend is interpolated between the intervals of your scale. We can also load a plugin. In this case, we're going to load Surge. We switch MPE on. And now we can load a patch. Let's try this. We can use the radial graph to move notes around. We can snap notes. Ratios. And also view the relative intervals between different notes. You see exactly the interval that we're playing. Here on the right we've got the scale editor. This allows us to edit different notes in the scale. So when I'm moving notes around, you can see them changing. And the notes will always be in order. So if you drag one past another, they'll get reordered. So they're always in ascending order. Let's demonstrate this with a new scale. So here's an empty scale. Most scales start with one. And I'll create a really simple scale. Minor third, perfect fifth, and a seventh. Intervals can be represented as ratios or cents. So we could add a new interval at, let's say, 500 cents. And we can move that around.
we can also change the period. So most scales will be at two, but some scales may want to be at three. or even smaller amounts, three over two. Here we have the mapping editor. By default, all scales are mapped automatically in ascending order. We can also remove black keys, as you can see in some of these scales. This one, for instance, is neatly mapped across the octave. So we can create custom mapping and now we can add notes in the scale, we can remove black keys, and let's in this case we can add another repeat the last note. And we can also create a completely custom order of the notes in the scale. So we could have that one up here, this one there. Um, so we can have notes jumping around. and the pitch bend will follow. So We can even use mathematical expressions, so you could have a scale repeating uh, pi, for instance. Typically we'll start with 1 over 1, and let's create a really simple scale here, 3 over 2. So this is defining three notes. So we have a three note scale here. We can also define a note in cents. So if we wanted 500 cents, we can enter it like that. We can also enter mathematical expressions. So if we wanted to add two just intonation intervals together, we could do it like this. 5 over 4 times 3 over 2 is the equivalent of adding them together. And there we go. And that is um, equivalent to 15 over 8. We can also have fun and use pi if we want. Um, let's do pi over 2. There we go. We can also alter the period of the scale. So the standard is uh, 2, which is an octave, but we can also make this 3. And if we want to have fun again, we can use pi. 
Here's internal studio loaded as a MIDI effect in Logic. In order for this to work, so we have it loaded into a effect slot. Here's the synth. And in order to for this work, we need to set MIDI mod base channel of and the default for pitch pen. Here I have Bitwig Studio with two instances of internal studio VST loaded inside. Here I'm going to show the grouping feature. Both instances are assigned to group A. Let's play the sequence. Now, if I switch scales, So the scale and we can eat. and we can edit the scale and they will stay in sync. It doesn't matter which one to start with, they are linked together. We, we can also see that we have the here in the piano roll. Features will also appear in Reaper and FL Studio and Studio One. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy using Intonal Studio as much as I've enjoyed creating it. Thank you.